initial basic feasible solution. This is a problem of Calcutta University 2017. So let us check the solution here. At first we write summation AI. Summation AI means the elements 8, 7, 9, 4. We have to sum all these elements. So all these elements sum is called summation AI. Summation AI obviously this is 28 and this is also equal to elements of sum of elements of bj this is also 28 so the given transportation problem is balanced to find an initial basic feasible solution we use VAM. now we construct the table for VAM. so at first we have to calculate the penalty penalty means you have to find the minimum lowest to minimum elements of each row and each column here I find 9 and 8 are the lowest in the first row so the uh, penalty, is, uh, penalty is calculated by uh, subtracting the highest and lowest element so 9 minus 8 this is 1 so right here 1 similarly the penalty for the second row is uh, 7 and 10 are the lowest elements so penalty is obviously 3 similarly in third row the penalty is 7 and 9 are the elements so subtracting this we get 2 similarly in this row we also get 2 uh, similarly in the column the lowest two elements are here same 10 and 10 so we get the penalty as 0 in the second column the penalty is also 2 in the third column the penalty is 1 here 8 and 7 are the lowest so subtracting this we get the penalty elements in this way we have to find the penalty element now the allocation made in the cell is uh, calculated on the basis that you have to observe the highest penalty highest penalty means there is a highest penalty 3 uh, it may be not unique suppose this be 3 and this be 3 then we have to choose arbitrarily any one penalty so in this case uh, this is the only uh, highest penalty so we choose 3 this penalty occur from this row this be row so we have to observe the lowest cost cell element uh, in this row so obviously 7 is the lowest cost element in this row as because the elements other elements are 10 and 10 so we have to make a allocation in this cell so we write here here we see that the demand is 10 and the supply is 7 so we insert 7 here and uh, put a cross symbol here cross it and also cross this cross symbol here so here is remaining is uh, quantity is 3 so we cross in this way this means the B row is blocked again we calculate the penalty of the remaining elements so in the first row the penalty is again uh, this is same as previous the elements 9 and 8 are the lowest elements so the penalty is 1 similarly in the C row the elements are 11 9 7 so the lowest two minimum is 7 and 9 so here we get 2 as penalty similarly in the third row we get 2 as penalty in the first column means x column uh, 10 and 11 are the lowest two elements so we get here 1 as penalty in the y column second column 9 and 9 are the two lowest elements both are same so we get 0 as penalty similarly in the third column we get 1 as penalty even we have to find the highest penalty and the lowest cost so here the highest penalty is 2 and this occur here and here so we can choose either this row or this row we can choose any one arbitrarily so let us choose suppose let us choose this row means the third row so the highest penalty is 2 and the lowest cost obviously say this is the lowest cost cell 7 so we make the allocation we have to observe the demand and supply so here is demand is 8 and the supply is 9 so obviously it is inserted here and there is no demand so we cross it and there is only one supply so we write here one and as previous we block this by this symbol
again we write the respective demand and supply of the remaining cells so here we have to find again the penalty so in the first row there are two only two elements 10 and 9 so obviously this penalty is 1 so here we find the penalty is 1 similarly second row is blocked here so we can find the penalty from third row so third row there are only two elements uh, 11 and 9 so the penalty is obviously 2 and here the penalty is uh, 12 and 14 are the elements so penalty is 2 similarly in the first column we have to find again the penalty in the second column we have to again find the penalty third column is blocked so we can calculate only second and uh, first and second column here again the highest penalty means 2 occur here and here this is not unique so we have to choose arbitrarily any one of them so let us choose uh, this two means we have to choose the D row so we have to observe the minimum element of this row so minimum elements means minimum cost element is 12 so we have to make a allocation in this cell here demand is 10 and uh, supply is 4 so obviously 4 is inserted here so we put here a cost symbol and uh, the remaining cost here is 6 so remaining demand is here 6 no further um, supply so we block it by this symbol So the remaining elements in the table are only in the first row 10 and 9 so the penalty obviously the penalty is 1 and uh, the third row 11 and 9 so the penalty is 2 uh, similarly in the column 10 and 11 we have to find the penalty 9 and 9 we have to find the penalty so we write down the penalty here so we again have to find the highest penalty and the lowest cost cell so here the highest penalty is here the highest penalty is 2 and this 2 occur from this row so this 2 is unique so we have to find the lowest cost so obviously 9 is the lowest cost so we have to allocate this allocation we have to make a allocation in this cell so demand is here 3 and the supply is 1 so 1 is inserted here So we put cross symbol here as PKS and also here the demand is 2. So uh, this row will block in this way. Since there is only one row remaining, so uh, there is no column. So this is our last step. Uh, here we insert uh, 6, this is 6 and 2. We insert 6 here and 2 here and we adjust it with this 8 so last insertion will be freely and we have to insert all the remaining elements in the respective cell so we write 6 and 2 here and put a cross here put a cross here put a cross 6 and two. so this is the our required table for them now we have to write the initial basic visible solution the initial basic visible solution is x11 equal to 6 x12 equal to 2 or x22 equal to 7 x32 equal to 1 now how we find this so x11 x11 means this allocation this allocation position is called x11 similarly this is x12 similarly x22 x22 means this element uh, similarly this is 3 x32 this is x33 and this is x41 so we have to write all this as our initial basic physical solution